This is not a demo. This is live laser weeding going on with an autonomous tracker. Hello, I'm John Cook, co-founder of GeekWire. And on behalf of GeekWire Studios, I'm excited today to be joined by Paul Mikesell, founder and CEO of Carbon Robotics. Maybe you could just describe a little bit about what we're seeing as, as it passes by. So there's no drivers in these tractors behind us. They're running 24 seven out here. There's a number of them in this field. It's what we call monitored autonomy. It means that any intervention necessary, one of our remote drivers can log in, see what's happening, take whatever action is necessary, and keep the production rolling. And so this is a huge advantage over anything else that he's tried to do autonomy in the fields. And it's really why you see a lack of actual autonomy in any of these farms, it's because of all the exception cases. We're working with Carbon Robotics in their new autonomy program remote driving tractors to help minimize labor and increase efficiencies in our fields. So Brandon, one of the efficiencies you can gain here obviously is a labor efficiency. Can you talk a little bit about what that means for you here on the farm? It means a lot of things, you know, running the right speed, working 24 hours a day, seven days a week without having any sick time because tractors don't get sick. Um, we're hoping to mitigate some future expenses with labor rates by going autonomously on as many things as you can. And does this give you comfort that you can also have a human powered uh, component to this in the remote operations center, that there are actually people watching the tractors in real time, that if there were a problem in the field, they can get that, that tractor back up and running. How important is that to you? We don't farm on flat square fields. Um, we're in circles where pivots can move. We have hillsides, we have uneven turnarounds on the ends. There's rocky spots, there's wet spots. So having eyes on the tractor is really important to me. To just turn one loose and say, good luck, doesn't make me feel very good. So I really like what they're doing. What are the specific technical challenge of really building full autonomy into a tractor such as this? A lot of this is pretty simple. It's, you know, follow the furrow and go straight and then at the end turn around and come back. But there's always edge cases. There's a telephone pole here, there's a wind turbine there, somebody parks their truck at the end of the row. The ability to remotely drive the tractor safely through satellite video stream allows us to solve those edge cases, which is really the limiting factor for autonomy and ag. So Paul, one of the questions I have is just whether farmers need to buy a new tractor to install the auto tractor system. You absolutely do not have to buy a new tractor. We built this system to augment any of your existing tractors. Initially, we're launching on the John Deere 6R and the 8R tractors, and we intend to continue to expand really throughout the, that category. We built this thing to really take your existing fleet and turn it into autonomous fleet. And how easy is it to switch between the autonomous mode and, and the real human driver mode? It's one switch button to switch back to, to manual mode. There's a big red knob right there. You don't have to disassemble anything. You can just hop in and drive. I appreciate input from the farmers. It's really more of a collaboration, right? So where does this go beyond the laser weeder? I assume there are other implements that can be attached uh, to the auto tractor. Well, laser weeding is an important part of agriculture today, but there are many other things that need to happen in these fields. Cultivation or tilling, climb fertilizer, any of these other activities where you need to deploy tractors and pull machinery through the field. Carbon Auto Tractor now has the ability to do it. And the top of the tractor is the autonomy kit, the Carbon Auto Tractor kit. We've got some cameras. Uh, there's a safety radar. If anything is physically in the field, it'll stop and alert the driver. Those cameras there allow the drivers to see everything 360 all the way around the tractor. We're using deployed AI with robotics to really build one of the most important stable production bases in our country, which is our ability to continue to grow food and really give the farmers the tools they need. You know, I haven't had any other company that's paid as much attention to what the farmer needs as Carbon Robotics. I mean, there's some great equipment out there, but when we started working with Paul and his company, with the whole team a couple of years ago, you know, it just really felt like this was the partnership that we needed to be successful farmers.